In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll come back all. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. We'll come back, Giselle. How are you today? Fine. Fine, my father. Thanks, the Lord, for uh, this shiny face. And Giselle, may the Lord bless you, Giselle, and be with you. Thank you for the last episode. A lot of important information were there. And uh, I wish and I pray many that they got... Um, benefit for their life or guiding others how to go to Jesus, the basic of our Christian uh, life. Uh, today, Giselle, our question for you, how is astrology capable of revealing true information if it's only uh, a play of mind? factors uh, suggest that what astrologers or fortune uh, tellers or psychics uh, say is true. Uh, such uh, coincidence and the desire of the client or a consultant mm -hmm. to believe the psychic uh, prediction or the astrologer and other psychological uh, effects. The astrologer uh, attributes any success to psychic ability, the help of spirit uh, guides uh, previous uh, lives as uh, an astrologer and or the excellence of the astrological method. For sure, uh, astrology is not revealing uh, true information for many reasons. Uh, first, because uh, it's an occult practice and uh, what belongs to occult belongs to demons and uh, to spiritual guidance, which is not from God. Uh, only God is all knowing the future. Uh, we know this uh, from uh, when the apostles asked Jesus about the end of times. He answered, uh, it's not for you to know the time or the moment which the Father has fixed by his own authority uh, in Acts uh, one, chapter 1. Uh, psychologists and psychotherapists say that those who consult astrologers and fortune tellers are usually those who suffer from a psychiatric illness called a schizotypal personality disorder, yeah, which important. means a person uh, suffering from a severe social anxiety, mm -hmm. the disorder, uh, influenced by uh, unconventional and uh, or paranormal beliefs. Uh, such uh, as old beliefs or magical thinking. Uh, superstitions uh, believe in uh, clairvoyance and other occult and bizarre fantasies and illusions. This, besides that, uh, several other uh, psychological factors contribute to believe in astrology and in other occult practices, such uh, as uh, the Barnum effect or uh, Forer effect, uh, the cold reading, uh, food in the door uh, effect, and others. For example, uh, the Barnum effect is the tendency for uh, an individual to give a high accuracy rating to a description of their personality that is in fact vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. The study of uh, the barnum forer effect has been focused mostly on the level of acceptance of uh, fake horoscopes and fake astrological personality profiles. Uh, in 1949, uh, Bertram Forer, a psychologist, conducted a personality test on students in his classroom. Each student was given a supposedly individual assessment, but actually all students uh, received the same assessment. The personality descriptions were taken from a book on astrology. When the students were asked to comment on the accuracy of the test, more than 40% gave uh, it the top mark of five out of five, and the average rating was 4.2. Uh, 
in a study by Paul Rogers and uh, Jenny Soul on the year uh, 2009, which was consistent with the previous research on the issue, it was found uh, that those who believed in astrology are generally more susceptible to giving more credence to the Barnum profile than skeptics. This also happens uh, as well by a process known uh, as self-attribution, which has been shown in uh, numerous studies that individuals with knowledge of astrology tend to describe their personalities in terms of traits compatible with their astrological signs. I mention here uh, an important study uh, which was carried out by a medical Christian team uh, called the Therapeutic St. Luke Community, led by Dr. Sanchez and Dr. Madre, composed of 15 okay. doctors and a psychotherapist who conducted tests on people suffering from mental disorders as a result of some practices such as uh, uh, yoga, uh, divination, astrology, and other occult practices. From their results, we can see the following. These practices on long term lead to psychological disorders that affect identity's person as a spiritual being, his freedom, his dynamism, his hope, and the meaning of his existence. Such practices also can lead to a dispersing in its person, person's integrity and disorders as uh, anxiety, uh, depression, weak self-confidence, uh, behavior disorders, uh, spiritual dryness, lack of sense and moving away from prayer. These practices undermine the dignity of man and enslaves him is not the master of his life anymore, but rather is taken prisoner by idols and demonic spirits. Uh, in conclusion, though astrology predictions seem to be reality for many psychological reasons, it is still false information and have many real dangers on life's person. For sure, uh, which I want to add here uh, a quote from Saint um, uh, Athanasius uh, that he said, Ast astrologers, uh, they have led them uh, astray by evil thoughts. And also we could uh, uh, recognize how uh, sickness there is around us as people, they go after all these uh, idols or these uh, uh, ways to just know the future. And uh, it's not just a coincidence or it's a play on mind. It's surreal. There is a, 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 um, there is a person there who doesn't want the good for you. He wants you, he wants to control your life for bad, for uh, not going to the Lord back. For that, let us wake up and uh, understand that this is not just a, a game. This is not a coincidence. It is a real. It is something around us, and the world is going more and more after it. For that, we'll see consequences that will not uh, pleasure us. For that, we need to pray for this world around us to be the salt and real light. Thank you again, Giselle. Thank you, everyone, for uh, being with us. See you in the next episode.